heading to the room now. This is the Colonel Baker Suite, 504. But we are in room 503. There you go, Jen. Here's your card. So let's see what we got. I love these doors. So what do you do? No, just put it right up against it. There you go. It's like we never left. Please, welcome. Come into my chamber. Think. Oh, we're at the lovely Baker Hotel in St. Charles, Illinois. Actually, it's Hotel Illinois. Baker. I'm sorry, Hotel Baker in St. Charles, Illinois, in room 503. It's a hot tub suite, and it's the room we always stay in when we come here. And it's just, this is a beautiful historic hotel in the heart of St. Charles on Main Street. And this is our room, mm -hmm. just a beautiful standard room i think it's a king size bed mm -hmm. and then if you follow me so pretty uh, standard when it comes to bathrooms in a hotel nothing super fancy about it other than it's a fancy Fancy, so fancy hotel with a fancy mirror. But the piece, the resistance, is on the balcony. So why don't you show us, Jennifer? This is right on the Fox River in St. Charles. And this room is at the corner of the hotel. And you can see Main Street here. And the other part of the nice balcony that we have here is the hot tub. So a couple of years ago when we stayed here for my birthday, it was, we stayed a, a week or two after the birthday, I think a week after my birthday, and they had the St. Patrick's Day parade coming right down Main Street here, so we actually watched it from the hot tub that Saturday afternoon. It was pretty cool. It was pretty nice. So as part of our stay, we get a complimentary continental breakfast that normally would have been served in the lobby, but because of COVID, mm -hmm. it's going to be delivered to our room, which is actually even nicer. So breakfast in bed for us, kids. Yay! So what are our choices, Jennifer? So we can have scrambled eggs with mm. bacon. You can have a bowl of cereal with milk. In your beverages, you can have orange juice, cranberry juice, apple juice, coffee, tea. Is that coffee Irish? <sighs> Probably not. Mm -hmm. Then you can have bread, mm -hmm. either white or nine grain, and it's served with creamery butter and preserves. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. you just fill out your room number, your delivery date, and requested time, and you sign it. All right, well, that's pretty good. So. What are you thinking about having? Everything. All of it? So this is um, the hallway. And this here is the penthouse. So if you go up these stairs, they wrap around and they go up to 
the top floor. The elevator only goes up to the fifth floor, but you can take the stairs to the penthouse from the fifth floor. Remember the one time we went down to like the catering area? Is that the down? Yes. The DN? Yes. Or is DN the lobby and LL is lower level? Yes. I think it's L. Or no, I think we want one. We want one. See, there's a star on it. We don't want oh. to go. That's what we did last time. We did the lower level and we went down to like the kitchen. That's right, we did. <laughs> nice elevator. It's old. Four passenger maximum. It's an old elevator. Go ahead. But now during COVID, it's only a So coming off of the main lobby area, just to the right, we have a hallway that leads to the bathrooms. And down the hallway, we have the Celebrity Wall of Fame. Excuse me, Jenny Jen Jen. Jenny's the sexiest of all the sexy famous people, especially with that mask. Especially. But so the Arcata Theater is just down the street from here and there are a lot of different shows and entertainers that uh, have performed there. And a lot of them will actually stay here. So here you see members of the uh, New Kids on the Block. Do you wonder why they stay here? And on this wall you have a few different celebrities. This one in particular. This one in particular. Really kind of sad. Very sad. It's been a while now, but yeah, good old Davy Jones, one of my faves. If anyone knows or doesn't know, I love the monkeys. So, oh, and for the Disney fans out there, there's Ed Asner. The voice of who? Um, Carl from Carl Up. Carl from Up. And there's good old Don Rickles. And there's one of your faves, Jen. There's Rick Springfield behind you. Yes. And as we continue down, we get to right up here. And Jenny and Donnie. There's Jenny McCarthy. And there's Donnie himself, Donnie Wahlberg. They were married here at the hotel, actually. Jen's new husband, Mr. Baker, he's rich and owns a hotel. breakfast in bed. So Jen, what do you think of our stay here at the Hotel Baker? I loved it as usual. How about you, Joey? I loved it as well. It's actually really, uh, we had, I had a really nice time. I it was mean, so relaxing. It was. Um, the room that we have is, this is the view behind us from our actual room, which is really kind of cool. Hopefully the audio is okay because you got the water running in the background from the Fox River. But overall, what did you, um, what were your overall impressions? 
It's just a beautiful historic hotel um, on Main Street in St. Charles on the Fox River. We um, upgraded for the hot tub room number 503, which is the room we always stay in every time we come here. It's just luxury accommodations. Um, I think there's only 53 rooms here. 53 rooms. The hotel was built in 1928, so it's a, an historic landmark. Mm -hmm. And they have 53 rooms. It's a boutique type hotel, very old world charm, yes. right in the middle of the downtown district yeah. of St. Charles right on the Fox River. Lots of great shopping and bars and restaurants and candy stores. And yeah, I mean, and then there's the Arcada Theater right down the street. It's uh, an old movie theater that they converted into an entertainment venue with bars, restaurants, and um, the 1920s speakeasy upstairs. Uh, and then the theater itself, they um, have live performances all the time. So a lot of the stars that have performed there have stayed here at the yes. hotel. Um, the hotel itself also has a, a restaurant called the Rock City Grill. It was closed last night. They were closed on Mondays and Tuesdays, so we didn't get to eat there. But we have in the past, and we've always really liked it. Um, so that's actually been a positive thing with this as well. Restaurant and bar right here at the hotel. Yeah. Um, the room itself is actually really very comfortable, very spacious. I like the, the decor and design. The, uh, the doors, uh, the dark colored wood with the uh, they're rounded corners versus the regular square or rectangular doors. Um, so little, the wall sconces for the lighting, all these little things add to an old world charm type of feature to it, which is really very nice. And when you stay here, um, you get a continental breakfast included, but because of COVID now, you get served breakfast in bed. So we each got scrambled eggs and bacon and toast with butter and jam. Um, I had hot tea and apple juice, Joe had orange juice, yeah. um, but that's also really nice. You know, you wake up in the morning, you, you the night before you put out your food request and what time you'd like it delivered, and right at 9.30 they were at the door with our breakfast. It was really, really nice. Yeah, and the food was hot and the drinks were cold. excellent so, breakfast. Yeah, it was good. So overall stay? Overall, definitely a thumbs up. We have come here before, so obviously we didn't like it, we wouldn't have come back. That's true. Real quick story though, the first time we stayed was a few years ago for my birthday. We did it, We did the stay in April though, and we had everything booked, hot tub room and everything. The weather that day was so schizophrenic, as can be the case in Illinois in April, and it was probably about 28 degrees, and like ice, sleet, freezing rain, snow, coming, like in, sideways. coming in sideways, and yet we still got in the hot tub. That that would have been fun to get on video. Was hysterical. It was cold and hot at the same time. It just was awful. It was the worst experience, but it was hysterical. This time at the same was time. much better. Definitely much more relaxing. So yeah, we've had good memories here. We have. So so don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss any of this. I know I don't. I mean we're going to places other than Disney now. I know. Well, it's good. Just kind of spice things up a little bit, you know. Yeah. So hey, whatever. That's what you do. So all right. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.